О, черт, 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 черт. Отстань от меня. У тебя нету негде от меня прятаться. I am Russian Batman, motherfucker. Я товарищ летучей мыши, и Москва больше не будет страдать под вашей... Tonight's the night, Father. It's time for a change. I'm up. Let's go. We're heading out. It's only ten. We have a stop to make before starting patrol. Where? At the beginning, Damien. The beginning of what? Of everything. I've never told you why I set the clock to 10.48 to open this entrance to the cave, did I? No, Father, but I'm sure you had every intention of regaling me with some obscure factoid. 10.48 on a September night was the time that all sense left my life. I'm well aware of what happened to your parents. And now I know why all the locks and passwords are set for that specific number. Show some respect. They were your grandparents. Just names and dusty frames on walls to me. I take exception to that. There is not a speck of dust collecting on those portraits. I realize there are a lot of things I haven't shared with you. That's because you don't trust me, Father. If I didn't trust you, Damien, do you really think you'd be standing here? My life's most safe-guarded secrets accessible? Sometimes I think your secrets have secrets. Here you are, Master Bruce. Thanks, Alfred. This constant tribute to death's a waste of time. Yes. I agree. You do? Yes. That's why I wanted you to be with me tonight. And why is that? Because you're my son. Turn left at Water Main Junction 404 to place you under selected destination. And because I thought it was important for you to honor my parents' memory here in Crime Alley, and for the first and last time on the anniversary of their deaths, before this street's bulldozed and brought back to life for working people with dreams. Why is it the last time? Because I'm tired of marking the night I watched my father bleed out from his sucking chest wound, and my mother from a hole in her throat. It's not how they died that should be remembered, it's how they lived. That's why, from here on out, I'll be honoring their wedding anniversary, and not their final night on this planet. Dead is dead. I'm glad you're putting this sentimental nonsense behind you. How about we get back to work and find some evil to punish? We'll go topside when I say we go topside. Not a second before. I can still see my mother's pearls rolling into the sewer. Life's a battlefield, father. Good people meet horrible fates, the same as bad ones. The sound of her pearls hitting the water seemed as loud as the gunshots that night. Grief and remorse are a disease of the weak. You wage war and destroy your enemies before they destroy you. The future's always in the process of interpreting the meaning of the past, Robin. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means you should shut your mouth, listen, and show a little respect. Because you're sounding more and more like a cold-hearted ten-year-old boy who only cares about himself. And you were easier to look up when you weren't around. Should I be expecting those words on my next Father's Day card? You can't just build a boat and hope darkness magically sails away in it. Why not? It's my boat. A situation needs your attention at Gotham University. On our way, Alfred.
Security in this place was a joke. We didn't have to kill them. They could have had families. Someone points a gun at me. I aim at the biggest target they present. And it sure as hell isn't their kneecaps. Come on, hurry up, Ronnie. I've emptied 100 of these rods. You're only working on your Don't 80th. Don't rush me, Reggie. This isn't a race. There's a right way and a wrong Will way. Will you two just shut up and focus on what you're doing? We need the exact amount of irradiated fuel we wanted. Or we don't get paid. Then tell our dim-witted brother to get it together. Robbie, tell Reggie to stop yelling at me. Remind me next time to just simply shoot you both. Okay, nozzles up. We have what we need. We're out before Gotham SWAT even knows we were here. It's not a SWAT team you should be worrying about. It's us! We maintain the element of surprise next time. Understood? I'll keep it in mind. Let's go. It's diversion time. Robin, at your two o'clock. Thanks for the handhold. Three of them are heading for the tunnel. Looks like we have ourselves a ride. I don't think we should deviate from their exit plan, Robert. Do me a favor, don't think. We need to put as much distance between us and Batman right now. I'm on these guys, Batman. No, don't follow them without me. Emergency inner wall puncture containment water level dropping. We're going too fast, Robert. That's the idea, Ronald. They're inside the gyro, heading for the river. Don't attempt to board. Repeat, do not attempt to- Too late, already riding the ball. Alfred, I need a schematic of the Miller building that the reactor's housed in. Cowl upload complete, ready to be viewed, sir. We just screwing around with something out there. Step off or I'll blast you. Don't fire a gun in here, you idiot. Gyro stabilizer program disabled. the containment rupture, Alfred. Contact Commissioner Gordon and get an NAIR team here now. Push off that wall. Faster Adams. Emergency averted. Containment water level restored. Rod cask submerged. There's supposed to be this many fuel rods on one site? Hell of a cleanup! It's common at underfunded research factories to find more irradiated fuel because of the high cost of transference charges. Gray. Why is dying always cheaper? Whoever flooded this rod pool, Commissioner Gordon, saved two city blocks from being contaminated tonight. Any ideas? Yeah, a few. What happened to the men inside the ball? There's no sign of them. I'm not sure. Be sure. I disengaged the equilibrium stabilizer to shake a little sense into them. They had tanks of irradiated fuel on their backs. Did you give one second of thought to the repercussions? We don't have a license to kill. You follow my orders or- I did not kill them. And I can handle myself. It's more than just handling yourself. I want you to control yourself. I'm not like Tim, or Jason, or even Dick. I'm light years ahead of all of the past Robins. In skills and training. I'm either your partner in this, or I'm not. You're not my partner. You're my son. And if I can't trust you to do what I think is right, then... Even Dick trusted me. Why can't you? You have to earn it. And how long is that going to take? I'll let you know. My apologies. I expected you to remain unconscious for this. You must come from all this stuff. I'm erasing you. It'll be like you never existed at all. This new global circus act of his has to end. It's time to pay Bruce Wayne a visit. He's amazing, isn't he, Alfred? Quiet. But all I keep thinking is, what the hell did Talia do to this kid to turn him into such a killing machine? There's a part of Damien that's broken, and it's my job 
my responsibility to fix him. It's your job to be a father, not a mechanic, Master Bruce. Damien exists because I let my heart overrule my head. I have to find a way to push him past the obscene indoctrination of his early years and hope nurture wins out over nature. I built this life to wage a war, Alfred, not to have kids exposed to all this insanity on a regular basis. But somehow I keep failing in that regard. In a strange way, I'm no better than Talia. Don't sell yourself short, Master Bruce. There have been twists and turns at every step. It hasn't been easy, but you've given all the boys a moral and ethical road to follow. You've been their compass. And if there's one thing I've always been sure of, it's that Batman will need a Robin. And Robin will need a Batman. For the first time, I'm afraid, Alfred. Of what? Of dying. Of leaving a black hole in Damien's life and... What is it, Bruce? I'm afraid of what Damien could become without me around. I'd appreciate a knock once in a while. You're right, Damien. I apologize for not respecting your privacy. Science project? Yes. Your homeschooling assignments all done? Gave them to Alfred yesterday. Good. Because the weapon shipment we've been waiting to take down is finally on the move. Four shipments of weapons out of circulation in eight weeks. That should convince whoever's running them to bypass Gotham. Is it wise for Damien to continue exerting himself to such a degree after patrol, Master Bruce? I believe the young boy could benefit from a few hours sleep. I think his routine has its own benefits, Alfred. If this is how he wants to vent, to keep his killer instincts under control, then I'm all for the sleep trade-off. He wanted so badly to maim those gun runners tonight but he kept a lid on it. Did you tell Damien you were proud of him? Of course I did. What exactly did you say? I said his actions were commendable. The words, great job, or I'm proud of you, never crossed your mind. What's wrong with commendable? It means even more than proud. It means admirable, praiseworthy. Hmm. I'm afraid it means you have a lot of work to do. I've disabled the gauntlets and robotics again. All rather useless, if you ask me. Approximately 1.1 million dollars in damage. Replacement costs this week. I'm a billionaire, Damien, not a trillionaire. But nice field work tonight. I know. Get some sleep.
This Great Dane's a wonderful choice, Mr. Wayne. He'll be a great addition to the family. Le Grand Dunois' imposing appearance bellies its friendly nature. The breed's often referred to as a gentle giant. How much more will he grow? He's just hitting seven months now. So possibly 70 pounds and another six to seven inches. Guess he'll need his own bedroom then. Huh. I'll get the paperwork started, Mr. Wayne, while you two get acquainted. Thanks, Kathleen. Goldfish not going to cut it, hmm? Morgan, I heard you were dead. I am. Can't you tell? You murdered those gun runners last night. I prefer the term eradicate. Why are you in Gotham? To see you. Well, here I am. Yes. Here we are. There's a fire in your eyes I hadn't expected to see. It's heartening to know you're visualizing a throwdown right here and now. Probably even believe you'd win. We both know a face-off's impossible with civilians around. Why are you in my city? Gift wrapping scum on lampposts for the police, leaving calling cards, shining some self-inflicted symbol up in lights across the night sky, meeting with authorities on the roof of a precinct, and worst of all, franchising yourself like some fast food corporation. Isn't the answer obvious? You killed Revel. If you're referring to your large Moscow friend, yes. Pushing your bad brand across international borders was an indirect ultimatum that I couldn't let stand. You've distorted the clarity of our mission, Bruce. My mission is not your mission, Morgan. It never was and never will be. Ducard will be disappointed in you. Ducard's morals were just as twisted as yours. Only Bruce Wayne walks the right and true path. The world's leading missionary on vigilante vengeance. Justice. My being here isn't an attack, Bruce. It's an intervention. And I'm the only one who can save you from yourself. Damn you, Morgan. What are you... Shh. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Seems the Dane wants your attention, Damien. He's been a nuisance since he arrived. And stop trying to distract me. Did you know this chess set has been in the Wayne family for over 200 years? It's almost as old as you, Alfred. Yes, almost. He's been out there for hours heightening the manor's perimeter defenses. What's he suddenly afraid of? Master Bruce is doing what any proper knight would do. He's protecting his family's castle. I'm getting tired of being excluded from decisions that affect me. A very obvious Karpov move. Possibly. In this game, you always need to be in four places at once. The present and the future in not only your head, but your opponent's too. My mother abducted several of the world's top chessmen to improve my game. I beat them all. Stop slobbering on me, dog. Um, checkmate. Is that some kind of Butler Academy move? I'm assuming Damien didn't win that match. I finished retrofitting the stone gargoyles that encircle the manor's roof. They're now programmed with the HIAD and radar software. What's HIAD? Human identification at a distance. Two nights in a row you've locked me out of patrol. I'll be ready in... I'm afraid this will be the third night, Damien. This isn't fair! Who's out there? What's happening? What's happening that's got you so riled up? I'm not sure what his intentions are just yet, but the city still needs protecting. Once I get a better assessment, we'll talk. But right now, presenting myself as a target is a risk I need to take. Putting my son in that position is not an option. I need you to be patient. Name the dog. It's your dog. You brought it. You name it. I got him for you, Damien. You bought him to be a distraction. I don't want a dog. I want to go out on patrol. I bought him because I'm proud of your self-control lately. I'd like you to keep at it. Keep at it. I'll keep at it, all right. Master Damien, what are you doing? I'm going out. The city needs me. 
There is most likely a good reason he asked you to stay home. He never asks, he tells. You must honor your father's wishes. No, I won't. And by the way, nice sleight of hand there, Alfred. Don't give up on your day job. <laughs> Don't worry, Damien. I won't. <laughs> Bet you didn't leave the house thinking you might die tonight, huh? P please. I'll try everything. I know you will. It's going to be a very expensive and exciting date. No. Don't do anything stupid, family guy. Grab the cash and let's all walk down the side street together. We, we've given you what you wanted. Yeah, but we've got more than money in our shopping list. Please. D don't hurt us. Sorry, I'm in a kind of hurting mood tonight. Good to hear we're on the same page. Because so am I. Nice costume, kid. Give me a big smile before I shoot you. Get out of here now! Son of a... I'm sure you didn't leave your hole tonight thinking you'd get your ass kicked by a ten-year-old. Why don't you give me a big smile? Finish him, Damien. How the hell do you know my name? I know everything. By watching you these last three minutes, I know you're not being true to yourself. I'm not here to fight. You're letting him hold you back. You're putting on a show, aren't you? One look at you and now I know you're the reason he's kept me off patrol. And I know you want this human garbage at our feet dead, but can't bring yourself to admit it. But don't worry. I can see that this scum cerebrum is swelling. The force of your blows destroyed his ability to reason, along with his sensory perception and emotional response centers. He's brain dead. Mission accomplished. That's cold-blooded murder. It's semantics. <sighs> You're a special boy, Damian Way. You've opened my eyes. Given me a glimpse of Gotham's future once I burn Batman Incorporated to the ground. We both know that this worthless Cretan didn't deserve to take another breath on this planet. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone what you did to him. It'll be a little secret. We do need to discuss this costume of yours, though. especially the mask. Get away from him, Morgan! Oh, so good to hear you scream again! It's so good to hit you again, Morgan! That's the sound you're listening to. If I keep it up, you can literally shake yourself to death from the inside. All your major organs turn to jelly. Didn't your mother ever teach you to look both ways before crossing the street? <laughs> Robin, are you all right? Bat, 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 man. Glad to see everyone's coming around. Make yourselves comfortable. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. His first visit to Arkham. And you could already see it, couldn't you, Bruce? <laughs> of madness that you constantly allowed yourself to walk through. Can't move, Batman. Can't feel my body. Stay calm, Robin. 
Conserve energy. Keep your heat signature low. Right from the start, you've been reactive instead of proactive. Letting the crazies dictate the agenda. Killing slime instead of jailing them is, and always has been, the answer. But no one wants to get bloody. Truly bloody. Except them, it seems. Since you like to put on a show, Bruce, I decided to sit down to your level and provide the stage while asking you one simple question. How long do we keep putting our monsters in dark holes and pray they never see the light of day? There'll always be monsters, but I don't have to become one to fight them. I'm a monster hunter, not a monster. Don't bother trying to dislocate the shoulder and pull a Houdini. The bindings are tight. You and I both know this isn't just about fighting monsters, is it, Morgan? Your eyes are the same as theirs, just not as honest with yourself like the other psychopaths. Psychopaths give themselves colorful names, Batman. My name is simply nobody. Yeah, I'd say that fits you perfectly. Why are any of them still alive? Where's your loyalty to the victims? If you think I'm wasting one single breath explaining to you why my mission isn't about wholesale slaughter, you've got another thing coming. And what kind of legacy is this to leave behind for Damian when he takes your place? This is the failure you're grooming him for? I've seen your son in action. I know it's in his heart. And the sad thing is, so do you. But I'll embrace who and what he is. Before or after you paralyze him again. That was done for his own safety. I won't stand in the way of his God-given talents. God had a little help in shaping Damien. Just as you had some help of your own growing up, Morgan. Look at these freaks, Bruce. A vicious circle of death and destruction that you continue to let spin after all this time. Admit it. Your circus show squandered amazing resources to uphold some self-serving moral code that isn't viable. The only code around here that's not viable is yours. I brought you here tonight because I thought I could shake you from your delusional approach. That there was a slight chance this intervention would succeed. That we might work together like Ducard envisioned all those years ago. All Ducard envisioned was spilling blood and collecting a paycheck. And the only thing he wanted us to do was kill together. And when I walked away from that, you targeted me. No! Don't! You're right. It was never meant to be. Only your death will free your son from the heavy burden you placed on him. But don't worry. In time, You'll also become a nobody. Any last words, Bruce? Yeah. Lock and load, Alfred. Direct hit, Alfred. Stay on him. Not a problem. His heat signature's strong and distinct. Bullets and the remote controlled bat plane. I should have expected nothing less. <laughs> Damn it. My light refracting device is damaged. Let's go stealth. Don't move. No worries there. Let's get you back on your feet. Alfred, pick up. Are you all right, Robin? Yes. Yes. But you better teach me that move. Need some cover.
picking up his heat signature. Nothing registering but the burning cars he ignited. Do you think he's... Dead? No. I'm sure he's already planning his next attack. I'm waiting. For you to show me that move that put me in a coma. Not happening. And why not? Because if the move isn't executed perfectly, with the precise amount of pressure, you can easily kill someone. So teach me how to do it right. You have plenty of moves in your repertoire that can take a life. There's no need to add another one. That figures. Always coming up with another rule. I don't ask for much, Damien. That's what you think. Three things. That's all. Three things I expect of you. Keep your mind and body healthy, excel at your studies, and listen to what I have to say. You mean obey everything you have to say? If that's the way you want to interpret it, fine. But in the end, it all boils down to respect. And if you don't respect me, you won't ever respect yourself. Do you respect me? If I can't trust you, I can't respect you. What happened tonight is your fault. You would have gone on patrol alone, no matter what I said, and you know it. Nobody ended up leaving two dead bodies on a Gotham street. And you could easily have been one of them because of your recklessness. You're to blame, not me. I didn't do anything out there that I wasn't supposed to do. I didn't say you did anything wrong out there. It's leaving the house after I explicitly said. I need your permission to walk out the door now. Mother had me train with the League of Assassins when I was three. And now you're the ripe old age of ten. So you're damn right you need my permission. What we all need to do is calm down. I'll calm down after I know why Mr. Nobody knew our real names. Nobody's name is Morgan Ducard. He's the son of Henry Ducard. Isn't Henry Ducard one of the four original people who trained you? Yes, but there were actually six people who trained me. Henry Ducard was my last stop on the list. He was a special investigator and worked for Interpol and other government agencies tracking down the most dangerous criminals around the world. When anyone wanted someone found, it was Henry Ducard they went to see. He was one of the greatest manhunters that ever lived. Where did you meet his son, Morgan? We first crossed paths when I began my apprenticeship with his father. I'm all ears. When did he turn into a nobody? It's not a story I can share with you right now, but the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Morgan is very much his father's son. And that's it? If I thought there was more you needed to know, you'd know it. You want me to be honest all the time, but you get to pick and choose when you want to be? I don't expect you to understand this, but as a father, there are some things I have to lie about. Can't discuss with you yet. There's a difference. It's like I said before, even your secrets have secrets. And if leading by example is part of your plan, then good luck. This is who and what I am. Accept me or get out of my damn way. Where are you going? Taking the dog for a walk. Come on, dog. The perimeter grid's at full power. You shouldn't. You should have told him. It may help illuminate his own dark corners. Or it may all just confuse him even more, Alfred. He's a scared young boy, Master Bruce. I think the problem is he's not afraid of anything, Alfred. That's where you're wrong, sir. Damien watched his father get beaten up before his eyes tonight. I saw the fear on his face while I stitched you up. I think for the first time he realized just how human you truly are. That you don't wear an S or a green ring, or ride a seahorse 20,000 leagues under the sea. You're fallible and no longer immortal. Like a small part inside of the young boy that Talia didn't destroy still believes himself to be. As you unfortunately know better than most, Bruce. Each of us has a day when we realize for the first time that... 
Nothing lasts forever. Sorry to break the news to you, but your son's a stubborn ass. It's never completely dark for you, is it? There's always a light on, even if it's behind you. If you're going to keep following me around, we should probably move past Dog at this point, hmm? Read any Shakespeare lately? No, I didn't think so. I guess you're going to see a lot of suturing and blood in that cave over the years. You look like a Titus to me. And Titus it is. I'll teach you everything I know. I won't talk back. But I expect the same from you. I know who you are. And you know I can keep my promise. Just like the one I made to you about not saying anything to your wonderful father about the brain-dead creep in the alley. We both understand how he feels about going the extra mile in crime prevention. We have a lot to think about, then. Like whether you can live a life of lies. Now excuse me, I'd shake your hand for a proper good night, but I have an aversion to 50,000 volts. Sir, I found something in Damien's bedroom. On my way, Alfred. I don't feel comfortable rummaging through his things, but... Uh... Give it to me, Alfred. Look at all of them. Damien's been drawing these since he got here. I haven't been listening. I've let my own son slip away. Poor boy. To have kept this level of rage in check for so long. We're getting him back, Alfred. I won't let him down again. You made the right choice, Damien. I haven't decided anything yet, Ducard. Actually, you did. Leaving your father's house with me was not only a declaration of independence, it was a declaration of war. Are you prepared to have your father as an enemy? He already is an enemy. Pennyworth's been more of a father. At least he hasn't dropped in and out of my life expecting me to be some Bruce Wayne replica that's supposed to think, act, and breathe just like he does every second of the day. And are you prepared to fight alongside me? In a world where we kill the enemy, even if it means shooting them in the back to bring them down? Yes. Can you unlearn what you've learned? Can you puke up the useless ethics you've been force-fed by him? Yes. I want you to stop hiding from you. Are you ready to do that? I said yes. Why the hell do you think I'm here? You'll have to demonstrate that newfound will is genuine. No, you'll have to prove yourself, Ducard, because so far all I've heard up here is words. If it's action you want, then follow me. Are we tapped into all of them? Each and every security camera in Gotham is now running through our mainframe. Start running the human kinematic program again, Alfred. Sync it up to Damien's recorded danger room sessions. One of these cameras has to recognize and match his stride, his swing, his profile, body type, something, damn it. But don't forget you trained him to memorize and evade all camera positions. I can't stand here all night. Monitor the board. Contact me if we get a hit. In 
the streets have eyes, and sometimes even bigger mouths. Not knowing where you are, but knowing who you're with is painful and frustrating. I'm recording this while I scour the city looking for you. Hoping that some rock I turn over gives me a lead, points me in the right direction. I thought I might be able to say these things face to face, Damien, but the moment seems to keep escaping me, escaping us. I'm your father. You're my son. My job is to love you and protect you. It's supposed to be simple, but somehow it keeps getting harder. I know we're never going to throw a baseball in the back of the manor after a tough day. But I'd be lying if I said a small part of me wouldn't enjoy that mundane existence, even for just a moment. Right now, I'm at one of our emergency uniform sites. Your suit and utility belt are gone. And you've turned off the tracking device inside the belt. Only one word keeps pounding in my brain. Why? But who am I kidding? I know the answer to that. If I'm going to be honest with you, Damien, I'll need to be honest with myself. It's not just the upbringing that your mother forced on you that made you who you are. I'm also to blame. I didn't tell you everything about Morgan Ducard at the Batcave earlier because of what happened between us years ago in France. I took a long, hard look at myself for the first time because of him and his father, and I didn't like what I saw. But before I tell you how my story intersects with the Ducards, I need to start at the beginning of theirs. As you already know, Henry Ducard was a master huntsman. Every intelligence agency in every country paid highly for his services. If someone needed to be caught, Ducard was the one doing the catching. Ducard was a true lone wolf. That is, until he met Felicity Strode. It's the only time in his life he let his heart rule his head. And for a man like Ducard, things got complicated. In his line of work, family was a liability. In more ways than one, Ducard didn't know that Felicity was an assassin hired by a terrorist cell who had lost high-ranking members thanks to Ducard's own investigative skills over the years. Felicity's mission was to kill Ducard, but instead she fell in love with him, following him around the world like a devoted wife as he went about his business, never revealing her secret to him or anyone else. Eventually, Felicity's past came back to haunt her, the terrorist cell finally found her. They wanted what they paid for. They wanted Ducard dead, and if she refused, they would torture and kill her son, Morgan, right before her eyes. Even though Morgan barely saw Ducard 25 out of 365 days a year, he worshipped him. And when he overheard his mother on a call, agreeing to kill his father to save her only son, Morgan took matters into his own hands. <laughs> As did Ducard, until Morgan finally convinced his father that he was the only one he could trust. Ducard took Morgan under his wing and put him through a relentless regimen to strengthen his endurance and manhunting skills. He had high expectations of his son and taught him everything he knew. It was around this time that I'd already found and trained with two of the Far East martial arts masters, Chu Chin Li and Sune Toma. Each one adding an integral piece to the arsenal I'd be carrying back to Gotham. My next stop was France, and trying to locate Henri Ducard to help me prepare for the next stage of my mission. I had some leads and followed them to every dead end I could find, hoping it would stir things up and interest Ducard to come looking for me. It worked. We fought for 15 minutes. I thought whoever this was, he was good. But I was better. And so a moment presented itself. Yeah, 
You lay yourself the best at being American. How do you know I'm American? He asked a question, boy. Here you've been a zinia round. What do you want? You have a reputation. He. For killing idiot. You're working on a case for Interpol. Tracking a terrorist who calls himself a son. Hotel did you know Abu? Shoot you pop. After three years, Interpol finally met your price. Your brain are about to paint the wall. What do you want, Wayne? I want to learn from the best. And I was hoping you might want an apprentice. Ah, 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 ah. Is that a yes? And that's when I really learned to be careful what you wished for. What are we doing here? We're stopping a slave trader. A slave trader? You were joking. You may have heard of it. Women, children, men, used for prostitution, forced labor, organized. The list goes on. I know what human trafficking is. You know it's the next largest source of illegal revenue for transnational criminal organizations. Right behind drugs and weapon smuggling. This is an embassy. What gave it away? It's sovereign soil. Not to me it isn't. I don't give a damn for flags or borders. The ambassador is profiting on human misery. He's got his hands in recruitment and transportation of human cargo that he trains across international borders. And the guards and staff inside? What about them? I will not hurt innocent people. I have no evidence of the staff's collusion with the ambassador. They'll be taken out quickly and silently, as will all the cameras. Unconscious or crippled, it's up to you. I expect precision. Understood? Now lose the cape. We're not here to put on a show or make an impression. This is the first night of your life. You're free, Damien. Your days of being a decoy for Wayne are over. No, no. Yes. No, no, fuck. I don't want to die. I told you you'd have to demonstrate that your newfound will is genuine. Now shoot him in the head. Please, I have done nothing. My father once told me something I've never forgotten. A true evil rarely announces itself. The dangerous one sets subversive goals and achieves them bit by bit. Invisibly. Inevitably. If this is just an act of defiance, a young boy trying to get his father's attention... I don't want his attention. Then show me you're beyond his reach, Robin. Show me you truly understand. <laughs> I 
I'm not here to play games, Zucard. I had to see how committed you are. Then stop trying to manipulate me! My doubts needed to be put to rest. And were they? Yes. So now we get this piece of garbage to my safe house, where we can find out more about this trafficking network. What are you doing? Remember that move I incapacitated you with in the alley? How could I forget? Index and middle finger. The small space between the nose and the forehead. Bones of the cranium actually don't fuse together completely by two years of age. It's pliable your whole life. But I might kill him and any information we have a chance of- You can do it. I trust you. Perfect execution. He's still breathing. For the moment. Short hit from the human kinetic program, Alfred. Where? Camera outside the Ragandian embassy. The brief transmission matches Robin's body type. Feels like I've been holding my breath for hours, Damien. Upload our mainframe tap to my cow. Give me picture in picture of the embassy cameras. There are no signals. All the cameras inside are malfunctioning. I'm going in. There's only one ten-year-old in Gotham who'd be in the vicinity at two in the morning. And it has to be you. Need I remind you about diplomatic immunity? Noted. Your trail's getting warmer, son. Someone went the extra mile to keep these staff members alive. And I'm sure it wasn't nobody, Alfred. Which means I'd better get to the point of why I'm telling you this story to begin with, Damien. No hard feelings, right? I'm here to learn, not to get in the way, Morgan. Sure, Bruce. I think we can teach each other a lot of your game. Let's be clear here boys it costs a lot to play in my game but that shouldn't be a problem for Wayne from Gotham City M. I wasn't that naive to think that Ducard would take me under his wing for nothing. Watch the shoulder Morgan. You're telegraphing your move. Okay got it. Ducard knew I was prepared to pay for the privilege of being a student in his master class. No need to move faster Bruce. It was no secret we all wanted something from each other. It was the perfect storm. And inside the eye of this storm was our syllabus for tracking and capturing the elusive terrorist Hassan that Ducard had been contracted for. There's no magic to being good at the hunt way. Become your enemy slash study their behavior as tools of their trade. Think like them and embrace their darkness because that's the only way you'll ever be able to stand in the shadows and bring them to justice. Human feces. Be open to all your senses every minute of the day. Don't move so fast that it makes you miss the obvious. Don't just detect tracks on the ground and on the screen interpret what they mean. We followed Hassan and his acolytes across the globe. Sometimes only minutes away. From preventing another one of Hassan's senseless slaughters. You need to be relentless and unwilling to concede a defeat even when you lose track of your prey's trail because it's only a matter of time before you find it again. Hassan has just entered the building. Interpol has been notified. Good. I'm going over to keep a close eye just in case he sniffs something out and tries to make a run for it. I'm not losing a payday like this on a technicality. Watch over the exits contact me if you see anything suspicious, understood? Understood. This has been a long time coming. My father's been waiting years to wrap this up. Hassan's just entered his room. What's he doing? Opening his bag. What's in it? Looks like C4 and a few handguns. I'm heading up in the elevator. Let me know if he changes position. How far out is Interpol? They should be here any minute. Dukar. Hassan's going to the door. He's got a gun. Where exactly is he? He's at the peephole. What the hell? You didn't call Interpol, did you? Your father was hired to find Hassan and kill him, wasn't he? Get your hands off me. What happened to seeing this evil bastard brought to justice and put on trial in front of the world court? I thought that was the goal, Morgan. It may have been your goal, Bruce. It was never ours. That's right. Your goal was to be my apprentice, Mr. Wayne. You went into this with eyes wide open. You wanted to see. Mission accomplished. How damn convenient for all of us. Wayne's a loose end that needs to be cut. 
See to it personally signed. Yes, Father. Two words saved my life in England that day. Heathrow Airport, please. Partly cloudy. I got lucky that some sun peeked through and reflected off the scope glass on the roof across the street. It gave me an extra second. Now you can finally see your parents again, Bruce. Morgan, is that you? And that's how I wrapped up the last of my training days overseas, Damien. Now you know everything there is to know about the Ducards, and my own horrendous actions that have brought us to this point. Baker 65, this is Baker 61. We are clear and request paramedics on floor two more embassy staff need immediate attention. Roger Baker 61. Police up all security camera tapes. Let's see what we can see. Gordon. What the hell went down here? An ambassador was taken. I'm on it, but I need two hours. Why? It's personal. You got one. Done. Ambassador Shalou was a fountain of information. With all the names and addresses he gave us, we'll be able to take apart this human trafficking system in a matter of days. That serum was incredibly potent. You thought I'd be torturing him for a few hours, didn't you? Seemed likely. I prefer a less strenuous method at first. Bees to honey and all that. Put someone at ease, give them a little hope. Think of a possible future, and the truth comes pouring out. So the serum works better when fear isn't the overriding factor? Exactly. And speaking of the truth, did your father ever tell you how close he came to crossing that self-imposed, unbreakable line in the sand of his? What are you talking about? Talking about the time that Bruce almost killed someone too. Who? Me. Back in his training days. You're lying. Has Bruce told you everything about our past? Or has he been spouting the old, can't tell you for your own good nonsense? He hasn't told me much. He hasn't told me much, just broad strokes. Bruce may have been looking to learn all he could from the best in the world, but he was searching for a surrogate father just the same. He thought my father would be blinded by the way he named and fortune, that it would somehow favor him and make me disappear, but it didn't work out that way. Bruce didn't want to share the spotlight. He was a bona fide only child inside and out. He didn't like being second best, ever. Being only children ourselves, Damien. We both know those feelings better than anyone, don't we? You're dunking him in acid! I don't believe in fanfare or signature style of crime fighting. I make the guilty disappear. That's my golden god. It's like they never existed at all. Just as you're about to discover. I've got a position lock on Damien, Alfred. The signal's moving. Gotham Harbor. Did you really think I wouldn't detect the GPS you activated seconds ago? I thought you were on my side, but you betrayed me. 
Just like he did. You pulled the trigger at the embassy. You were ready to kill the ambassador. Weight was off. Didn't chamber around when you handed me the gun. I knew it wouldn't fire. So this was an elaborate scheme between the both of you. No, he didn't know anything about what I was trying to do. Our problems are real. I used them to help me sell you on bringing me closer. And you bought it! I was setting you free! Why would you throw away all I had to offer? Why? T because he's my father, you idiot! And because you're enjoying this too much. You're right. I do enjoy my work. It's time to show you just how much. Hello, Bruce. Your brother and child was actually more of a good little soldier than you thought. Seems he pulled the wool over your eyes and mine. I'd like to take full advantage of this GPS's capability to transmit sound. So listen closely. Because these next noises you hear will be your son breaking. Uh, that was the sound of your son's finger fracturing. Uh, 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 GPS convergence status programmed and locked. Three miles to target. Did you know a ten-year-old's inner ear is more susceptible to high frequencies than an adult's? Uh, Seems my sonics are taking the fight right out of the Bruce. Do what you need to, father. Target acquired. Right turn ahead. Two hundred yards to target. I'm going to leave him broken and bloody. Oh. Just like you left me that day in England, Bruce. Yeah. You'll see that everything you taught him just didn't measure up. Oh. And then, he'll be a disappointment. Posted 12 degrees to avoid heat signatures detected. Collision imminent. Race for impact in 4 seconds. 3 seconds. I've got my hands across your son's chest now. The next sound you hear will be Damien choking up his guts as my son exosolates his heart and lungs into liquid paste. You try to murder my son and expect to live! I won't try. Robin will die tonight, and I'll make you watch. Just like you did to my father! No! After what you've done, I have only one purpose tonight, Morgan. And that's to make you bleed! I was thinking the same thing, Bruce. Did you think I'd face you again without oral modifications, Morgan? Stop calling me! Help, but you can't, but can't. focus, boat sinking, boat sinking. Morgan disappeared, the day you threw me across the cards table like a piece of garbage. In my father's eyes, I was dead after you beat me. I was nothing, I was nobody. And you're still just an insecure little boy with wounded pride. And looking for daddy's approval. Robin turned on you. Your father turned on you. No one showed you any loyalty. Except for your mother. And you killed her for it! Shut your mouth! You were a parasite, Bruce! You suck the life experience of others to fill your own black holes! You stole my father! So I'm stealing your son! Quick, your cool! I'm going to destroy everything you've worked so hard to build. Well, this needs a fat man. It needs a nobody. It's always been a nobody who rises from the masses to make things right. Uh, and it always takes a somebody to show them they're wrong! Batman!
boat sinking now, or... Don't worry. I've got you. Thought I almost lost you there, boy. Takes more than a nobody like that to get rid of me. Did you think I betrayed you, father? Not for a second. Well, maybe just a second. We're not going down with this ship. <sighs> I'll clear this debris. We'll drop nobody but the harbor patrol. Get back to the cave. Don't disappoint me, Daniel. You know I'll be back to kill you, boy. And have Alfred patch you. Damien, get away from him! No! Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. Done. What I had to do. What I needed to do. For you, Father. To help you protect our castle. Protect our kingdom. We're leaving. I've let you down. I lied to you about... Now's not the time. Reverse thrusters engage. Hold on! Dog. I named him Titus. You'll see him in a few minutes. We're going home. Alfred! Are you ready? Yes, sir. Put him down so I can begin a body scan and assess internal injuries. Fix up our boy. You seem to need some fixing yourself, Master Bruce. Damien's on the front burner. I can wait. I would rather you sit down than fall. And I said focus on Damien instead of worrying about me! I'm fine, damn it! Obviously. I'm sorry, Alfred. There's, there was no reason to snap. I shouldn't be taking one. Shush. No apology is necessary. Luckily, there are no injuries to any major organs. What I am seeing, though, is a mild concussion, some hairline fractures, one bad break, and some deep bruising. Thanks to his physical conditioning, he's a bit tougher than most ten-year-olds, so none of this will pose a serious problem, as long as he rests and is asymptomatic for at least two weeks. After the beating I heard him take over the calm, that's a relief. On the other hand, what's transpired over the last 36 hours still has serious implications that... It was all a ruse, Alfred. Not all of it, Bruce. Damien had no intention of joining nobody. He did it so we could shut him down easier. And is he indeed shut down, Master Bruce? Actually, yes. Nobody's dead. Damien killed him. Oh. Damien and nobody were only ten feet away. One hundred and twenty inches. That was the difference between life and death. I failed my son, Father. God help me. A part of me wishes that nobody's blood was on my hands instead. Not Damien's.
I see you chose to fall, hmm? You could just say I told you so. I told you so. Damien? Fine. I've sedated him and set his broken arm. Follow the light. I'm checking your third cranial nerve. Yes, Dr. Pennyworth. Diagnosis. Father and son have both sustained concussions. Your eyes are having trouble following my finger. Aside from all the blood that has left your body, the rest is likely pooling around your ocular motor nerve. You're getting a head scan and plenty of rest. You can't serve Gotham if you don't serve yourself. is painful and frustrating. I'm recording this while I scour the city looking for you, Damien. What are you doing? Finishing what I started. Which is? Getting rid of the darkness. This is the only room I haven't touched since my parents' murder. It's my father's den. I think it finally deserves to see a little light. Don't you? I listened to all of it. And? And you wanted to kill Morgan after he shot you back in London. And? what he did to you the other day. I recorded those thoughts because I wanted you to hear that you're not alone, Damien. That you're unfortunately just as much my son as you are your mother's. Meaning? Meaning the apple didn't fall far from the Ducard tree, but from the Wayne tree as well. I fight back that uncontrollable urge more than you know. You can't face lunatics like we do on a daily basis and not have it boil up when they put innocent lives in jeopardy. I'd be lying if I told you it never crossed my mind. But I made a promise to myself and on the souls of my parents to live by certain principles. But if killing them is the only way to stop them, then how? Principles don't allow for exceptions, Damien. There's an old proverb that says, if you walk down a road of vengeance, then you should dig two graves, one for your enemy and one for yourself. You can't build a better world by killing criminals bankrupts your soul and societies by reinforcing the same cycle of violence. I want to believe that, but I'm not sure I can. You have to believe it. You have to live it from here on out. Not for my sake, but yours. I don't want to end up like Ducard without a moral compass. I don't want to turn into a nobody. I want to be like you. I've always wanted to be like you. But sometimes I don't know what I am. Or even who I am. You're my son. All I want you to be is the best Damien Wayne you can be. And here I thought we didn't like each other. We don't understand each other. There's a difference. Don't give up on me, father. I have no intention to. How do I make amends? You can't. You will remember what happened on that boat every day of your life. Since Alfred isn't allowing us off manor grounds for another 24 hours thanks to his concussion lockdown, maybe we can do something together. Like what? Something mundane. I'd prefer you boys go back to fishing in the pond than tear apart my impeccable stitching and open your wounds. It's getting too late for fishing. No worries, Dr. Pennyworth. We'll take it slow. Go get it, Titus! <sighs> no worries indeed. Bring it here, boy. Instead of fetch, I think they should call this spit. <laughs> Are we to tempt the fracture fates this fine day? Go along, Titus. Go along, Titus. A few more tosses, and let's head in. Okay, let me help Titus find the slime ball. Here it is, boy. <laughs> oh. Just... One night, is that too much to ask? <laughs> 